All right, we're all set up now, so let's do some Super Mario Maker 2. Also, if you're wondering why Mortal Kombat is here, it's because I bought the the upcoming like expansion for the game because there's like a story mode coming out soon, like an expansion of the story. So I'll probably stream that in a couple of days. But yeah, I bought it and the game preloaded the DLC, I guess, so that's why it's up at front there. Right, so let's do Mario Maker 2 now. It must be weird seeing Mortal Kombat like in between Mario Maker and Animal Crossing. Right, so since you posted the level code at the appropriate time, I guess I will check that out first. Thank you for holding off on sending the code, by the way. Oh wait a minute, I don't use this controller, do I? Hang on. Where's my SN30 Pro Plus? Where did I put that? One moment while I look for that controller. Oh, there it is. Behind... It's behind a bunch of cables. Let's hope that weird D-pad issue doesn't happen where it randomly presses left on the D-pad because I recently found out that's an issue with this controller sometimes. But I think it should be fine. Let me just uh, fix the volume on this game and we can get started. Right, okay then. Let's go to Course World or whatever it was. So since the last time I streamed this, I have not actually made any new levels for my Super World, so we're still a long ways off from seeing my full Super World whenever I eventually get around to that. It could be like months from now, realistically, because I'm a lazy fuck. Right, okay, so let's check that code out. Starting with the one that was given to me first, DMK8724 H. Oh, wait a minute, is it HD or GH? It's the other way around, sorry. Don't know why I mixed those two up. King Boo's old Mecha Koopa. Uh, King Boo's old Mecha Koopa Factory, traditional level. A traditional level, murder King Boo in his old underground- I, I can't speak tonight. In his underground Mecha Koopy- <laughs> Mecha Koopy? Mecha Koopa factory. Wow, I can't fucking speak this evening, but let's try this level. Oh yeah, thanks for reminding me. Some Something- wait, wait a minute. One moment. Before we play this- I had some issues with somebody earlier in the stream, so I'm just like turning something back on. Right, so I may have missed your notification for subscribing. Oh, oh god damn it. Is it SN30 Pro? Why? I, I think it's doing that thing again. I I'm not sure what just happened there, but something happens. Give me one second. Sorry, I'm testing the controller for something. Right, never mind. So uh, this controller's been causing issues lately with my lately with my switch, and I'm not sure if it's doing that right now. Sometimes it randomly presses directions without my consent. I'm just gonna hope that it doesn't do that. But yeah, if you did subscribe to me, there would be a notification, but I had to disable notifications because somebody was being a dick earlier. Like, somebody with, like, 50 different, like, clone YouTube channels constantly subscribing to my channel for no reason. Other than just to see the notification, I guess. Like, I had to, like, turn them off for a moment, for a while. I forgot to turn them back on until now. The annoying thing is, that's not the first time that person's done that as well. I don't know why they keep fucking doing that. It's like, oh hey, I'm 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 pretending to be the fifty different characters from Loud House. Watch all my fifty characters. Fucking subscribe to your channel one by one. I've never even seen the Loud House, but I am familiar with that show in in the sense that I am aware of it. Apparently, it's all right, but I've never watched it, so I couldn't tell you. 
So yeah, this level seems alright so far. Sorry I haven't really been saying anything about the level yet, I had to like get that off my chest. But yeah, this looks this looks pretty fun. I like this so far. I like challenging but relatively fair levels, as long as it doesn't like bullshit you. Oh that was a nice shot. Oh shit, that doesn't work. Okay, so I think my controller's fine actually. See, if it once in a while the Switch Pro, con not the Switch Pro controller, but my third party controller will have issues where it will randomly press the direction on the D-pads on its own. And that's happened for a couple games that I've streamed, but Thankfully that's not happening right now. Because you don't want that to happen in the middle of a platformer, especially. Ouch. Ba 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 ba. Did I hit a checkpoint? Okay good, I hit a checkpoint. It is cool that the Mecha Koopas got added as like one of the new things in this game. I've not seen that many levels that have been using them yet. But this level seems designed around them. So yeah, how about that new... I know I know, I, li I literally just talked about this during Bug Fables like a couple hours ago, but... Since this news broke between the last time I streamed this and now I'm going to talk about it again real briefly this time. But yeah, Nintendo announced a new Paper Mario game out of nowhere, Origami King. Oh, I didn't even realise that was a wall there. I thought that was like a background detail. But yeah, Origami King, I'm looking forward to it. Cautiously optimistic. It's not exactly the thousand year door, but at this point I guess I'll take anything. I'm hoping that it's an improvement over the previous games, that's all I'm going to say on that subject, but yeah. Oops, that was, that was dumb. Right, this time let's not mess up. Is there a mushroom over here that I can take with me? Yep. I'll just take that. See, I've streamed a couple Paper Mario games in the past. I've streamed... Uh, the Thousand Year Door, obviously, the full playthrough of that is on my YouTube channel. Um, Super Paper Mario, I streamed through that, the completion. Never streamed 64, I've considered it, but I don't know when I'm going to do that. If I wasn't doing a bunch of new games right now, like this coming week, I'd maybe do it before Origami King comes out, but that's not going to be happening, so... Yeah, I, th I think I'm going to have to get a rain check on that one. I also streamed Color Splash when it first came out, and um, I think back then I didn't have a microphone, I so... And, and the VODs for that are long gone now, like I didn't save those VODs back then, so... Unfortunately those are no longer available, not that anyone really should watch them because... Let's just say I didn't have the best time with that game, it's not terrible, but... It wasn't exactly the Paper Mario game that I wanted, or most people wanted. Still better than Sticker Star though, like that's like the absolute bottom of the barrel for the Paper Mario series. But yeah, someday I would like to stream 64, but I will stream Origami King when that comes out. As soon as that releases- oh shit. Ah! As soon as Origami King comes out, I will stream that. And hopefully it'll be good. Why am I failing at this part so much? Bioshock is coming out Friday. Yeah, the Bioshock collection's coming out on Switch. I don't think I'm going to pick it up myself because I've got like the three games on... I think I've got them all on Steam and I think I've got them all on PlayStation 4 as well, so... I'm not really itching to buy them again. There's like a bunch of 2K games coming out this week, isn't there? There's like the Bioshock collection, the Borderlands collection, I think, and then is it XCOM is the third one? Like they announced all those a while back during that direct mini.
Oh. Somehow I missed that door. I was wondering where the fuck to go next. Oh, I see. Good. At least I know where I'm going now. I somehow missed that door. Don't mind me just trying to get back up to where that question mark block was because I think there's a fire forward in there that I can grab. Yep, there we go. May as well fully power myself up before I go back down again. Right, so I'm just forced to take damage there. Right, I see. It's like those switching color blocks from like Mario 3D World. I wonder if that game is going to end up getting released this year, because that was like one of the rumours, was it not? Oh, I see. Kind of. Yeah, I, I see what's going on now. Yeah. Quite a lengthy level this one, but not not bad so far. Ah, I see. Okay. This is an interesting boss to sing. There we go. Right, that was actually a pretty damn good level. A fucking rarity in Mario Maker. Because most people that I don't know that give me like a code that's usually like a troll level or like Kaizo Mario, but no, that was a pretty good one. I like that. Thank you for that. Right, so let me scroll back the chat to see uh, Green Yoshi guy's level code. Where was it? Did he have... is it Twitch that it's on? Hang on. Ah, yeah, it's on Twitch. Right, okay then. So here is Green Yoshi guy's one. Zero SD. Or is that a 5? No, that's an S. 0, or 963, nine, sorry. 963 nine, K2G. Yeah, I guess I'm checking out viewer levels for now. If you want to leave your code, I'll check it. 
Like, you would be next if you left your code right now, since this is the, the most recent code that I've gotten. Uh, how about a blast from the past? Visit the Ice Towers for Mario 2. Oh, I remember this level, 4-3. Yeah, this is the one where... Is this not the one that ends with the fight against um, Fry Guy, like the big fireball thing? I love Mario 2. Oops. Oh, momentum. Oh, momentum. Look, I'm gonna have a bit of trouble getting back out here, actually. Wait, is, is it possible to get out here? I, I think I did this to myself. <laughs> did you did you consider this? Right, oh, there we go. Finally. Yeah, and for some reason this level starts with a regular birdo for some reason. And you have to like raid the egg. Mario! I'm a, I'm riding on an egg across the ocean, Mario! Sorry, that was a vine sauce reference for those who didn't know. Yeah, I like this level, this is a pretty challenging one. You know, I was going to say I should stream Mario 2 sometime, but I remember I actually did. Like, I streamed it about a year ago, I think? I played it with that little moo. Like, we played the online multiplayer together. During the, like, it's on the Switch Online thing, we played it through that, so yeah. I did stream that game a while back. How high does this go again? Yeah, gonna have to do this instead, I guess. Let me tell you though, when this controller works, the D-pad on it is astounding. Easily one of the best D-pads I've used on a third-party controller. One thing I loved about this level was, like, you know how those transition points between the underground areas? Like, if you played this level as Luigi, you could basically break this level, or if you used Peach and you did, like, the high jump floating thing. Alright, oh, I, I see what I did wrong there. Yeah, you need to write these guys down. Yeah, shite. Immersion ruined. Right, let's do that again. Ah, uh, yeah, this is where the Fanto would be. Cool that they, like, integrated the Fanto back in, because that's, like, one of those Mario enemies that you don't really see get referenced in modern Mario games these days. Now, if only we had King Mort, that would be nice.
Ooh. I'll take it at this point, fuck it. Right, so I wonder how you handle Fry Guy then, because we're almost at the boss fight now. Right, so yeah, this is where the boss fight would normally be. Shite. I guess that makes sense, fireballs. Other than that, it's just a standard coupling fight. Yep. The Monte Moles were the closest things to the... Oh yeah, the... the what, what do you call them again? I think they're called Flurries, actually. Which is a weird name. McFlurry. Thank you very much, Boy 56 for following on Twitch. At least I know the notifications are working now. Thank you very much. Oh, shite. Yeah, they do kind of move like, like, when you put them on ice, they do kind of move like those little flurry things from Mario 2. There we go. Victory dance. Hi Taps fanboy, welcome to the stream. Oh, I got first clear? Right, okay then. I will give you a like so that more people can find that. That's a pretty good remake of a good level from that game. Right, so I've got a couple codes here. Let me catch up on these real quick. Let me check the YouTube chat proper. Right, okay. Oh god, the D-pad did press left on its own. I didn't do that. The, the fucking controller did. Hang on. Maybe if I desync and resync the controller, that'll fix it. Yeah, that, that's an issue with this controller. It only does that when I hook up to the Switch. It doesn't always do it, but sometimes it does, and I have no idea why. Just a second, I need to reconnect this controller. If only it would stop doing that, then it would be perfect. I like how it says Pelt, even though the controller is not technically connected. I'm trying to reconnect it. Right, there we go. Right, okay, so the next code... Let me back out. So I'm just going to do these in order then. What is the controller called? It's an 8-bit Doe controller. It's called SN30 Pro Plus. It looks like a, a SNES controller, but it's got like two big handles on the side for er ergonomics. Really nice controller. It's just a shame that when you sync it to the Switch, sometimes it will just randomly press a direction on its own, even if you don't press anything yourself. I'm not entirely sure why it's doing that. I've tried looking it up. I couldn't find a solution for that issue. Right, so let me check. It's a C, CPN. One, two, 
YY4 9YF Oh god damn it, again I didn't press that. This fucking controller sometimes. Whatever. I'm sure a single left D-pad press button is not going to interfere, hopefully. But that's still annoying that that does that every now and again. Yeah, it seems to only happen if I don't press the controller for a few moments and then it like presses left randomly on its own. I, I wish I could figure out why it's doing that, but yeah. See, I never have that issue when I connect the controller to the PC, but only it only does that when I'm connected to the Switch. Also, I wasn't paying attention. What's the name of this? The desert shenanigans? No clear conditions set. Okay then. Did not foresee that. So this level seems alright so far, this one doesn't seem too bad. See, every time somebody gives me a level code, I always have that expectation of like, oh no, is it going to be a Kaizo level? Is it going to be bullshit? But no, this one seems fine. There we go. Right, well, it's starting to be a little bit more Kaizo-ish now, but not not too bad, relatively speaking. Oh, I see. Okay, that's clever. That's kind of cool, actually. Not not exactly Kaizo, but it's it's going up a little bit in difficulty, but it's not like impossibly hard. And there we go. Don't know why I did that, but there we go. That that was that was not too bad actually. I like that decent level. I give it a two thumbs up. I would give it a three thumbs up, but I only have two hands, so... Except this like in place of a third thumb. Right, let's see next level of the list here. One moment till I locate it. Right, okay, so the next one is from Taps Fanboy. O W S. X, 3Y, 5LG. If you steal other people's levels, you're an asshole. Yeah, I guess I would agree with that. It really depends, but if you, like, just straight up copy it, then yeah. I mean, there's, there's no shame in taking, like, certain ideas from people, because I've seen, like, a bunch of people recycling the same concepts, but if you make it your own level out of that, then that's, that's fine. But if you, like, just straight up copy it, like, block by block or whatever, then yeah, I guess in that case, you would be a bit of an asshole. Uh, Koopalings trouble. Can you defeat every Koopalings in one go? Probably not, but let's try anyway. How do you steal someone's level? Well, you just, um, copy it, I guess? I don't, I don't know.
Oh, shit. Okay, can I remove this? I won't be able to get that item now. Oh well. Yeah, probably not going to be able to beat this, but I'll try. Oh, you get an extra power up when you get to the next room. Okay, then. Oh, why am I so bad at this? Yeah. I can't promise I can complete this one, but I'm going to give it a few tries. goes my spike helmet once again and there goes my feather. Yep. Yeah, this part this might be too hard for me. I'll see if I can complete the, the Roy one at least, but it's, it's looking like it's not going to happen. I don't think I, I have the skill sufficient enough to do this. <laughs> oh wow, that, that sucks. Tried to get an early hit on him there, but I didn't account for that. Whatever. <laughs> ah! That fucking Monty Mole! Killed him, but I couldn't get in the door there because I bounced over the door by accident. What other games do you stream? Mostly Nintendo stuff. I I stream a variety of games really. I was going to do Metal Gear Solid 4 yesterday, but I ran into technical difficulties getting it to run, so that's going to have to wait a few days until I can get like a replacement hard drive because the disc version is not working and my hard drive's too small to load the game up. So yeah, it kind of sucks. I'm in a bit of a bad position with that. Do you stream Splatoon? And no. I played a little bit of it, but I'm not really... See, I like Splatoon, but the thing is, I think I played so much of the first game that I didn't play anywhere near as much of the second game. If that makes sense. It's like, leftover burnout, I guess you could say. I like that you curse, I hate that a lot of streamers try to be family friendly. Hey kids, do you like family friendly streams? Then oh boy do we have one for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and all that bullshit. Oh wait, we're not allowed to say that. Whoops. We meant bull fudge, yeah, that's what we meant. Bull fudge. Puppy cock. What? That's not a swear word. We swear. I'm really bad at improvising, but yeah, I, I don't like when when people, like, censor themselves. I mean, if you want to be a family-friendly channel, fair enough, but I've seen, like, some YouTubers that are not not inherently family-friendly, but they'll prevent themselves from swearing anyway, and it annoys me. It's like, say the goddamn curse, you cowards, please. Yeah. 
forgot about that in the middle there. Right, I think I'm done with that. I'll give you a like anyway, but um, I'm going to move on to the next level codes. That one was way too hard for me, unfortunately. I, I, don't, I lack the sufficient skills for that. Also, I don't think I've got whatever... Like, I see you put a code called add there, but whatever that's for, I don't have it, unfortunately. But I will get to your code. I'm getting to the codes one by one. Let me look for the next code in the chat one moment while I locate that. Where is it? Actually, I think your code might be next. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't see any other codes, so it might be your code next. I, I guess I'll put that in now. H GQ OPV Oh wait, is that 0 PV? Oh wait a minute, that's number Q, sorry, I didn't see that there. VHF And not a VHS I bet nobody gets that. I'm showing my age when I'm referencing VHSs. Cray. Smiley face. You put in a code before this one? What's the code? Because I don't see it. Did you, did you put in a code? Sorry, I think I may have skipped it by accident. I don't see... Wait a minute. The, the one that says Koopaling Boss Rush, is that the one? I thought I just did that one. Let me copy-paste that for now, so I've got that in reserve. Okay, so apparently I missed that one. Sorry, I've got that one on reserve now. I will do that next. Sorry for completely skipping that by accident. I guess I made a mistake. I'm not the best when it comes to organizing my own streams. If it's not painfully obvious. Oh, well, there goes the cray smiley face. Can they break that? I don't know if they can break the spikes, I guess not. Let's find out. Nah. Love the Mario World music. It's so good. Oh! Panic press. Just gonna reset that room real quick. There we go. Yeah, that was fairly quick. Right, so I'll check uh, your level next, uh, Joel. Jo 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 Joel? Jo jo Joel? Sorry, I don't know how you say that. I think it's Joel, but with two L's. Right, so X, W, 5, Q10 F3F F. Oh wait a minute, did I type that right? Let me double check that's the correct letters XW5 Q10 Oh FJF, sorry, I, I, what did I put in? F3F, why did I think that was it? Thank you very much Nono6942 for following on Twitch so FGF, sorry. I don't know why I thought that was a 3. My brain likes to pl play tricks on me sometimes. Easy coupling boss rush. Hit a question mark block to get a power up. Don't hit them both at once. 
see the reason I thought I did this one already was because the previous level I tried was also a Kupaline boss rush, so I guess I got these two mixed up. This is a different level entirely, it seems like. It's Joel, but everyone gets it wrong, right? See, that's that's why I wasn't sure, because the L threw me. It was like, wait, is it Joel or Joel? Is it possible to make Koopalings fall into the lava? Why did you have to stand over there? I was hoping he wouldn't get back out of his shell, like behind the, the fireball spot, because I didn't want to get hit by the fireball. There we go. This level is made so that if you beat the bosses, then you die. You don't have to beat the same one over again. Oh, that's cool. I think I see how you do that now. Like, the checkpoints overwrite themselves. That's that's kind of cool, actually. I know, I've never seen something done like that before. Right, two bosses left. I'll tell you this, this one is certainly better designed than the other coupling thing that I just did. This one feels more fair for one. See, I didn't know checkpoints could do that, where you could overwrite the previous one if you, like, get the other one from the other sub-area, if that makes sense. Oh, he can ride on- oh, wait a minute, that spike's down there. I thought he could ride on the lava for a second, I was like, wait a minute. But this suit certainly helps with this fight. I say as I get hit and lose it, but it's been helping for most of it. Ouch. Yeah, fuck you, Morton. I think that's his name, Morton, Morton Jr. Koopa. Something like that. Funny how I started with the fucking hardest boss. There we go. And there they go. There they go. <laughs> That was pretty good, I like that. Give you a like for that. Wait a minute, five seconds? Is there a death door? Hang on. No way could you beat that in five seconds. There's got to be a hidden death door. I'm gonna look for it now. 
Like, I just noticed the world record is like, doesn't, yeah, it shows you that there are 5 seconds, 5.8 seconds. Is there, is there a dev door hidden here, or is somebody cheating? Because I, I don't know, I don't know. Like, how the fuck? I wish I could look at the replay of that one person, but I don't think you can do that in this game. Yeah, I can't seem to find anything, unless it's in one of the boss rooms, but I'm, I'm assuming not. Yeah. Yeah, right, okay, never mind. Wish I could tell you what the fuck they did, but their world records is there, as clear as day. That's this weird. Let me look at the comments real quick, see if anybody makes notice of that. Oh, right, okay, th those comments are by the creator. Right, okay then, moving on. Let me check the codes real quick. Yeah, there's a few codes here that I need to get to, so one moment. Next one is from Might King. There's like two codes there, so I'm going to do them in order. H. G. Q. Q. P. V. V. H. Wait, did I do this one? V. H. F. I think I did this one. Yeah, I did that one. Hang on. Let's do the other one that he gave me. Sorry. O. Not O, sorry. Six. I've got a shit memory sometimes, don't mind me. 61RX02. XKF. I think. The world's easiest level bonus level. Make easy, make sure to go in the white pipe for a surprise. Smiley face. Nice spelling on the world easiest there, by the way. 10 out of 10. <laughs> right, okay then. I guess that's the nice surprise I got yeeted. I love messing with that zoom-in feature, it's quite fun to use. Right, okay. Let's see, there's like another one I need to check here, one second. Uh, there's, and, and the fun thing is I have to like go back and forth between the YouTube and Twitch chats, because I stream on both at the same time. But I think the next code is from Director Matthew, so let's do that one. I need to find a way to better organize my code things so that I can like do this proper. Maybe next time I can look into a solution. 7TW7... Wait, what is that? Sorry, the text is so small I can't fucking see what that says. 7JJX? I guess he put in one too many J's. 7JX. 72H. A lot of 7's in this one. Oops, that was an S, not a 2. Derp. Oh, it's your actual profile? Or this is a this is a super world actually? Right, okay then. We'll check out your super world then. The stream is lagging? Ah oh, shit. Well that's a shame, my stream has been holding up fine until now. One moment. Yeah, this happens, sometimes my internet is garbage. Uh, I'm gonna throw this up real quick and see if it fixes itself. If not, I'm gonna have to restart the stream. Don't worry, we'll, we'll continue this shortly. My, my internet, let me show you what's going on with my internet right now. If I can find... 
Like, this is what's happening with my internet right now at zero kilobits. <laughs> what the fuck, internet, please? Alright, see you later, Joel. Thanks for watching. Right, I'm gonna have to restart the stream. One moment, please. Right, okay, I think we're back now. Sorry about that. My internet just, like, died on me for a moment, so I had to restart the stream real quick. Right, okay then, so I'm not sure if the person whose code this belongs to is still here, but we're gonna try out the super world real quick. Which I'm assuming is just a singular world with a few levels. Oh yeah, check out Mario dancing. That never fucking gets old, no matter how many times I see that. My favourite emotion is the one where he does that, like, weird thrusting movement. Can he do that now? Not that one. Come on, Mario, do that one move. Not that one exactly, but close enough, I guess. Oops. Press the home button one too many times there. Superstar Rush 1, okay then. So this person's from Brazil, I recognise that flag. <laughs> yeah, uh. What am I doing? Ugh. For some reason I keep thinking the ZR button is Mario's, like, cat-scratching attack, it's not. It's the B button, or the Y button, sorry, not the B button. <laughs> I, I... Congratulations, you just played yourself. Again. That part always trips me up. There we go. Meow. Meow. Right, next level. Again, I haven't really made any progress on my super world, so I'm not going to see that today. I need to get back into making levels, but sometimes my creative juices just, like, are dry. And right now that seems to be the case, unfortunately. But I do want to eventually make my own super world, it's just going to take a while to do so. So yeah, we'll, we'll just uh, leave that. We'll leave it at that for now. And I guess I'll just check other people's super worlds after I'm done with this. Well, could have easily avoided that there. I was like, yeah, sure, I'll go for that. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, losing a life? Yeah, sure. So I feel like there was something I was going to bring up, but I don't remember what it was. Did anything happen recently that's worth talking about? In the world of like video game news or anything cool to talk about? Because I feel like there was something I was going to bring up, but I honestly don't remember what it was. For those that missed it earlier, I guess I'll bring this up again. Um, I'm going to be playing a few new games this week because there's like a bunch of new games released. Well, technically two new games releasing this week, but there's also an expansion to a game that I played about a year ago. So, And I'm going to be starting Metal Gear Solid 4 this week, so there's a lot of new stuff that I'm going to be doing. The first thing I'll be doing this week will be Mortal Kombat. 11's, like, story expansion and DLC, because the story expansion comes out on Tuesday. Then Thursday will be a new, a new Shanty game on Switch. And then after that, on Friday will be Xenoblade, so that's what's planned for this week. Of course, I'll catch up on some other games while I'm doing that. I've got to, I've got Bug Fables to finish and, 
um, other stuff that I can't think right now. So yeah, this feels more like a standard Mario level. This doesn't seem too bad. Very short as well. <laughs> Pretty much like a Mario 3 level. Are you playing the whole super world? I think it's just one world, so yeah, probably. I don't think this is like eight worlds, this one. At least I, I don't think it is. How do I check how many worlds this has? Reach the goal after grabbing at least 10 coins. Okay. Right, I'm almost done with this. Just a couple more levels left. Or just the one level left. Shit. Hi Clifford. I mean, at least I got one of each for what's that wolf, which is nothing. Right, so I think I'm going to hide that OBS stats now because nothing, like my internet is fine now. I only had that up because my internet was having issues, but it seems okay now. Again, that happens once in a while because my internet sucks. Oh, I see. I didn't even didn't even notice that. After I'm done with this level, I need to take a brief intermission for something, but I'll be I'll be back in a couple minutes. So, oh, I see. Right, okay. So we're going this way now. Good. That's classic example of me being impatient there, just not waiting. At least that checkpoint gave me an extra hit, so that works. I'm assuming there was a 1-up mushroom sitting there as well. Not that you really need it once you're done with that level, but there you go. So I think that was the only world. I'm not entirely sure how many more the super world has, but it might just be the one. Oh wait, no, there is more. Right, so... Let me check how much more of this is left. I need to back out real quick and see how many there is in this one. 
Okay, so it's just two worlds. Right, so I need to be right back real quick. I've got something I need to tend to uh, away from the computer. So I'm going to throw up a BRB screen. We're just going to take a quick intermission and I will be back in a couple minutes. Right, okay, I'm back. Sorry about that abrupt intermission. Just something I had to deal with that had to make me go away for a couple minutes. But I'm back now. That said, I will have to wrap up the stream fairly soon, like within the next 10-15 minutes. So I'm not going to accept any more codes tonight, but I'm going to finish this super world and then I think I'm going to stop after that. So if you guys are okay with that, I'm going to wrap this particular session up. So yeah, no, nothing, nothing to worry about. It's just them um, reasons that I don't want to get into right now. So we will, we will reconvene for this another time for more codes. I'm gonna have to look into how to accept codes properly because I know some people. Oh shit! <laughs> Fuck! I, I know some people were using like an ad code, and I don't, I don't know how you imp implement that exactly because I'm not really a professional at streams. I'm going to be too slow at this, aren't I? Oh, never mind. Right, okay then. I hate it when some people make like speed levels and it's like you've got to be absolute perfect, otherwise you'll be off by like a fraction of a second. That was not one of those kind of levels, that one gave me plenty of time. Oh, it's this minigame. Shit. Good. That one always fucking gets me. At least we get to see Long Mario for a fraction of a second. Right, okay then. Hi there, Jose. Gino Fernandez, I hope I said that right. Welcome to the stream. Buzzsaw Dungeon. Oh shit. Didn't realise that was attached to that thing there. I guess they didn't account for me having Yoshi still, but there we go. Eh, I'm doing alright, how are you? Anyone that's like adding codes right now, I'm not going to get to them tonight, because once I'm done with this super world, I'm gonna wrap up after that. I would stream this for longer, but I do have, I do have to like get going very soon. Not got a lot of time left to stream, so I'm just gonna do these. I think I've got three more levels left, and then I'm going to finish after that. Wrath of the Spike. Uh, li like I said, Jose, I'm literally just about to end the stream, unfortunately, so I'm not accepting any more codes. But I do appreciate that you would share a code anyway. Sorry, I can't get to it. If I had more time, I would, but uh, I've got things that I need to attend to once I'm done with this stream. If you're around for my next Mario Maker 2 stream, which might be, I don't know, within the next week or so, then I could probably do it then. So yeah, this upper world overall is pretty decent. Like, these levels are fairly decent. They don't feel too bullshitty or like too difficult. I'm quite liking them so far. 
It's a shame the super world is almost done because it's only two worlds long. Bento Cave. Right, so this one uses Mario 2 shit. Cool. I always enjoy some Mario 2 stuff. Well, I'm not going to be able to finish it now because Kit can't do the ducking jump. Why are you playing the whole Super World? Well, why not? If it was like eight worlds, then I'd probably not do it, but it's only two worlds. <sighs> Again, I'm going to be stopping very shortly, so... Waiting for that Fanto to come back so I can throw this. So one thing I found out about the Fantos in this uh, Mario Maker update is that you sadly cannot kill them with a Starman, which is weird because you can do that in Mario 2. But yeah, it doesn't work in this game. Like, they're just completely impervious to anything. Right, well there you go, that's the end of that level. How high can I jump? That high. Fairly high. But yeah, if you were able to do it in the original Mario 2, it was possible to, like, kill a Fanto. While it's flying about, if you've got like, if you collect like enough of those little cherry things and grab the Starman and then get the Fanto to come towards you. But yeah, when you try hitting the Fanto with your star power in this game, it doesn't work. He just completely ignores it. Right, okay, last level, and then I'm gonna stop. Wish I could have played this for longer, but again, uh, other reasons have prevented me from extending the stream any longer than this, so. I'll be ending a little bit earlier than planned. Oops. There I go, just running off head first into danger without even thinking. Not even gonna bother going for that 10 coin. Shoulda waited. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, didn't do her. Oh nice, I get Mario 2, Mario again. I didn't know they could do that. Right, there we go. That was a pretty decent super world overall, I quite enjoyed that one. Only two worlds left, uh, only two worlds long, mind you, but all the levels in it were pretty good. I should have been liking your levels, uh, I guess I'll like the super world once I'm done with this ending sequence. I, I can. I would assume you could like thumbs up, like you can give a thumbs up to like the super world itself. So I'm gonna do that now before I stop. How do how do I give it a thumbs up? Do I have to go into it and then give it a thumbs up? Mm, yeah, I don't know how this works. 
I'll, I'll just give you a, a heart or something for your profile. How do I do that? Yeah, sorry, I'm not familiar with this layout, this uh, interface. Yeah, I'm just gonna... whatever. Right, okay then. Sorry for not <laughs> knowing how to operate Mario Maker 2's interface, but whatever. Th those, that was a good world though, thank you very much for that. But I am going to wrap up for now. I would like to play some more, but it's getting it's getting late and I really need to get going now. But I will do some more Mario Maker 2 and I'm going to try see if I can make more levels myself. What level is this? Did I make this? I don't know if this is an auto-generated level or if this was something I made. Let me check real quick. Yeah, I don't think I made this one. Right, okay then, so... I'm going to try making some more levels of my own because I eventually want to make my own like full super world but that's going to be a long ways off but eventually that's going to happen fingers crossed but I will do more streams of this until then